everyone, this is Michelle with Purposeful Happiness and I am excited to bring you my latest book and I have been working on this one for a couple of weeks but this is the Voyager Shipping Series and as you can tell there is a wood cover on front and on the back but there is an image here with a map, um, a little bit of gold gilding and it's been burned somewhat to make it aged. And then of course it's a two and a quarter inch spine with a probably faux leather spine. It has hollow back binding so obviously it'll lay flat when you open your book. And there are a lot of elements on this one uh, that we'll have to go through before we open the book. There are the tabs with anchor, silver anchor buttons. I don't know if you can see that very well. And then of course on the side of the book we have a little bit of ribbon, it's very stiff, and some charms on the ribbon. You'll see the whale tail on both of them. If you open up there's some seashells, a turtle, and seahorse in here, and a scroll. And this scroll, oh, and a piece of coral. I'm sure you just saw that. I'll do it this way so that you can see it properly. And this scroll actually has a old poem on it. And you just open it up and it is handwritten. And then we'll just curl it back up. And it can be taken off or attached inside of the book. Uh, there's just a small knot holding it together so it can certainly come out of the book if you do not want that in there. And then all we do is tie the scroll back together and it just hangs off to the side. Obviously you can change that and, and move in. Each of these books I've done the first one but there will be three in this series and each one will come with a letter with a note and it has a wax seal on it and the note will just tell you this is a diary entry from an author in the 1800s describing what life was like on a ship so that will just come with the the book and I recommend reading this before you start your journal okay so this is a relatively large book uh, the faux wood painting was done a couple of weeks ago and then let it dry and then it has been sealed and it is shiny. There's probably almost close to 200 pages in this book front and back. There, everything in here is meant to reflect the time period and or the theme. So 1700s, 1800s, that's what most of the ephemera and replicated ephemera will be. So there's just some journaling tags some lace and of course this is just a second grade reader with a poem about the sea in it and each there are six signatures each with a themed page and like most of my books I like to leave a lot of blank pages for the recipient to add their own pieces to it there are coffee dyed paper papers in here and then some digital printing you'll see and these are basically just the different types of ships of that time some linen paper and here is just some burlap and another uh, tuck spot it's basically just a little journaling note and cards and just a little anchor charm Some more coffee dyed papers and here is another digital print of more of a folklore piece and that's directly on the page and some of the old illustrations on the bell submarines and that's in here more coffee dyed paper I had ordered online a piece of vintage fishing net 
and that's what you'll see on here. And here is just a couple of the seashell charms, but three of the signatures I put the fishing net in and I put it on the edge so that it wouldn't interfere with anything else that you would add. And then here is more of the tabs and their leather pieces. And here is just a piece of fabric and it has paper clips underneath it so that you can just attach whatever you want. And these are just small pieces of decorative ephemera included in this. Some more blank pages. I don't remember who did this, but I'm a fan of the coloring pages with designs coffee dyed and put in. Then of course you can't have a shipping or a Voyager journal without a map and of course here is just a cut out ship and put right onto the map. And that just is Mod Podge on, so it's not going anywhere. The other side of that coloring page and some cardstock is also in here and that's what this is. And here is that piece that I told you about that holds the scroll in. And I just stick it up a little bit so it won't get in between the pages. And here is a uh, quote by Herman Melville from Moby Dick. And of course you can just use these photo corners and put your own photo in. And some more journaling space. This has just a little band across and it's just got an envelope with a card. This I left blank and didn't put any decoration on it. And this is really just a folded piece of paper that offers a lot of journaling space tucked into the book. So I had fun playing around with that. It was supposed to be a heart. It's clearly not a very good heart, but I think that will take some practice. Then that will just slide back in. We'll just put that right there. So there's a lot of tuck spots, some pockets. Um, and again, most of my books have a lot of empty space in it. Here's some more digital printing. And of course, this is what you would have on for supplies on the ship and what everybody would get. And this was recorded in the New York Times in October of 1851, I believe it is. Different types of plant material, mechanics, just figures. Here is a crew list, that's just a digital print as well from the National Archives. And of course, while you're on your shipping voyage, you would always have a picture of somebody you left behind. And so this is just a curio card that can be used as a tuck spot or a journaling spot and just a watercolor paper and here's a belly band I looked up the currency that time and this is just a reproduction of course and this would have this is from 1838 Treasury Department and so that's just tucked in here and more of the fishing net and here is probably easier to see on this side what a seahorse charm caught in the net here and here's just a small diary entry 1890s and it is just paper clipped right on and when you open your journal in the package the chapter three that you get is actually from this book two years before the mast and that is the cover and the author and the entire book is available by the archives as well it's there is no copyright on it just some basic journaling cards just stick this right back in some ledger paper coffee dyed with a little bit of grunge and of course couldn't resist the sea blue paper and again trying to stick with the theme of the book. These are just people standing on a dock and this is a 
Voyage to the Northwest Coast of America. And so written by Francher Gabriel, 1786 to 1863 was his life. Tuck that in right there. Blank paper. Varying weights of paper in here to help inspire your own entries. Uh, just a little bit of blue paper. There's a turtle charm on this one. It's a little small. And a little matchbook journal spot. And we just we'll stick that right back here. And while there's an empty spot, we'll go ahead and include one of the maps. More journal paper, or ledger paper. And here are just more tags to go with this book. I like this specialty paper. It looks like leather. It's not, but it's rather fun. And here is just a tuck spot for a blank paper. You can draw, sketch, it's coffee dyed. It's got a crinkly feel to it. Here is the next signature and here is a uh, envelope series. So there is this envelope that tucks in and then when you flip this over you can see there's also another envelope with space inside. Hello?